This is Jerome McQueen, the academic engineer coming to you from academics, the national movement to encourage our young people to choose STEM as career aspirations. And another very special guest, in fact, is the history of academics, the first time we bring back a, somebody that we had already interviewed, Ms. Nikita Norman. Now, Ms. Nikita Norman had over 1,100 views on her last video. More, more importantly, it saw the HR of a major automotive manufacturer. They called her in for an interview. She interviewed at 9.30. The interview was over at 10.30. She had a job offer by 11.30. Now, Ms. Nikita going to tell us how she did do everything to prepare and nail that interview for her internship. So please hit us up on Academics on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So, Ms. Nikita, you ready? I am. Cool, cool, cool. First of all, congratulations on that. Thank um, you. Very, very good feat on that. Um, First thing I want to ask is, did you do any preparation for the interview? I did. It's a lot of preparation I took um, took time to do. I met with my different mentors. You know, I kind of got their feedback. I did my research on the job. I made sure I had my resumes printed off on resumes paper. I got um, a portfolio. Mm -hmm. I made sure my hair and everything was, you know, in the correct order, uh, right. nails, everything. So I'm just going to... Touch bases on each of those and okay. um, kind of share with you guys on what I did to kind of help you all. So cool, cool. first I'm going to start by what I needed, which I said I had a portfolio, um, black or brown. You don't need no, no colors. Just do black or brown. Make sure you have a pen, something to write with, black or blue ink. Um, you want to make sure you have a copy of your resumes on resume paper. Good. And um, if anything else you need, uh, if you did some research on the company, you can have in there. Um, you want to do a self-analysis, you can have that in there. Um, also, you, very important, you need questions, um, mm. questions to ask the, the interviewer. So okay. um, those are some basic things I took with me to my interview. Um, the next thing I want to touch bases on is my dress code. Mm. I was business professional, white button-up dress pants, black flats, no heels, no color shirts, just white button-up. Black pants, very okay. simple. Okay. Now, um, now I, what what do you what do you recommend for the men? What do they need to be wearing? For the men, same thing. You can do white button up, gray button up. You know, black dress pants, uh, dress shoes. Um, no big bulky jewelry, no watches. Make sure your haircut is clean. Make sure your hair is neat if you have dreads. Um, things in that sort. So. Okay. Okay. Good. Yes, but back to the women. Make sure you know you don't have any bulky jewelry. Uh, no color nails. Make sure you have neutral color in your nails, especially when meeting with a big manufacturing company for a professional job. Right. Um, you don't want to go overboard. You want to be as simple as possible because you're going to be observed as soon as you walk through the door. Mm. Mm. Did Did you feel like you were being observed Definitely. as soon as you walked in the door? From head to toe, mm -hmm. from my hair, my nails, um, type of clothes I wore, type of shoes I had on, you know, my approach, my appearance. I made sure I was standing up straight, no slouching. So all that was, they was observing me as soon as I walked through the door. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, are you ready to get into the actual interview? Portion? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so in the actual interview, talk about how many people were there, who were there and talk about the questions they ask. And I heard you talk about questions earlier and also talk about the questions that you ask of them. Gotcha. Um, so when I got in there, of course, I'm an outspoken person. So I made sure I agreed <laughs> with them. I shook their hands, you know, I introduced myself formally to them and um, just made myself feel, you know, welcome in there. And once we sat down, of course, I, it was four people in there. Um, you had the manager and three of his workers in there. I guess they're team leaders and you know the higher rank engineers in there. So right, um, it was for it was all men, no women, just men. Okay. So at, at first I was like, okay, you know, I'm getting here and I'm kill it though. But um, <laughs> we sat at a round table. I, uh, of course, we were six feet distance since COVID right now. Right. But, yeah. um, once I sat down, I made sure I was sitting up straight. I put mm -hmm. my hands in my lap because sometimes I can't talk with my hands. Right. So I made sure right. I just put my hands in my lap. Um, and then, you know, we kind of they went around the table introducing themselves. And then, of course, I had my time to introduce myself. So that okay. went really well. Okay. Now, everybody, all, most 
time in an interview, they always start off, uh, tell me something about yourself. Did they ask you that? Yes, that was the very first question. Um, oh. Asked me to tell them, tell them about myself and uh, my current job at the time. Um, right. They wanted to know what I was doing, you know, and they all went around the table and did that. So it kind of made me feel more welcome when everybody spoke. So we took mm-hmm. turns going around the table. They told me their positions and what they do. And then once it got to me, they want to know, you know, what I'm in school pursuing and, you know, what I'm working towards now and some of my goals. So. Right, right. So you say you had questions. What questions did you ask of them? Well, coming from my very special mentor, Mr. Jerome McQueen, <laughs> some really good tips on how to ask questions because um, some of the questions you ask can be really simple, but then you can ask some questions that would exceed the limit and throw them way off, you know, the, the roof. So um, one of the questions that I asked was, what does success look like in this position? Mm-hmm. And um, it took them a minute to answer it, but um, they definitely gave me a great answer. You know, they right. this is something what I wanted to hear. And um, another question, since it's an internship, I asked, is there a primary project that I will be doing? And mm. what are the objectives for it? What do you expect from me? And what do you expect to come out of this project? So. Okay. So when you ask what success looks like for this position, were they surprised by that? Or seeing, seeing they were taken off? How do you feel? Yeah, I'm very surprised. Um, like I said, it took them a minute to answer it. But okay. they gave me a good answer, um, something I kind of was expecting. Um, they did tell me they looked for me to grow in that position. Um, hmm. They definitely told me it was room to grow. You know, if they see growth in me, they definitely want to keep keep me with the company. So that was very, you know, a good encouragement moment right there. Like, you know, yeah. if they see growth, they're going to help you improve and grow more into your position to be a professional. So. Yeah, that was my very next question. Did you talk anything about any permanent positions after this internship is over and you graduate? Yes. They definitely asked me when I graduated. That was the first thing. I was like, okay, when are you graduating? What's your time limit for graduation? So they wanted Mm -hmm. to know that. And then they wanted to know if I had any goals for myself after graduation or if, you know, Honda was a place for seeking uh, positions or did I have any minds or like staying at M&H Val or did I have any, you know, plans on going elsewhere? So Mm -hmm. um, they definitely wanted to know, you know, what it was that I wanted from them. I don't want to know about your future. So if you want to uh, lay roots here or you want to move on somewhere else yes they definitely okay. want to know all of those things so okay okay is there anything that you you after the interview you know after the interview we thought i should have said this i should have said that or anything you would have done more of or would have talked about more or, or would have done anything differently preparing for maybe the next interview well, definitely with this interview, um, I first want to just touch on that I did take a list of projects that I have completed from my okay. previous internship with me, um, as well as the SEP analysis sheet. And once I mentioned that to them, after we got done with the interview, you know, they got done asking me questions. They wanted to see that. They wanted to know okay. my project. So we discussed that. And then on the way out, uh, one of the one of the guys walked me out and they still wanted to ask me questions about you know, my previous projects, he was really interested in that. Um, but I felt very confident about my interview, you know, after I asked the questions I needed to, you know, I felt really comfortable with it. Um, you know, so when they called me back, I was kind of like, you know, kind of shocked because it happened right. so fast. But, so quick, right? Yeah, so I went <laughs> in, um, but I was definitely confident about it. And I felt like, you know, I prepared, you know, very well for it the day before. Um, I had everything I needed. Um, I had, you know, very help. So reach out to those mentors and get that help you need from them before mm-hmm. an uh, interview because that really helps, you know, that okay. take time to help prepare you. So it okay. went very well. Good, good. Now, a couple of times you mentioned this self-analysis. What is this self-analysis? How did you do it? And, and, and tell us more about that. That's something I haven't heard before. Tell me about that. Well, self-analysis sheet um, on there for me, I put my strengths, and my weaknesses and some things I want to be challenged in. Uh-huh. Um, so that was, they were very shocked to see that, you know, I had mm-hmm. some stuff that I wish to work on or some of the stuff that I'm really strong at or some of the things I want to challenge myself at. So if you can make a list of those, that's very important. You know, they want to see that. They want to know that, you know, your weaknesses, they want to help you improve on those weaknesses. Okay. And th- there was a question that they asked, you know, what do you feel like your weakness is? So it's always good to have that and to know those that way when you are asked that question, you can exceed the question, and, you know, be able to answer it. So. Okay. Okay. And each one of them you had about 
four or five strengths and four or five weaknesses and yeah. four or five things you wanted to to yes. um, I challenge about, on. I listed right at about five on each, you know, under each topic. Right. And then certainly with the challenges, you know, I kind of put like challenges slash goals because some of those things are the things I do plan to grow in. Um, okay. Once they saw that category, that you know, my challenges, my goals, they kind of helped them kind of job place me too. Right, so, right. Very right. good. Well, cool, cool. Any other recommendations you have for anybody else that want to do an interview for a job internship? Um, tell them any other recommendations that you may have. Well, I definitely want to say this. If you are in college right now, a sophomore, junior, or senior, definitely get an internship before you try to pursue any profession, professional career. That is very important because nine times out of ten, if you don't have any kind of uh, internship on your resume, uh, it's going to be hard to find a job right out of college, especially in the STEM field. So get those internships early as you can. Um, I know usually around junior, senior year, mainly junior they want you to try to have one but it's very important that you try to seek you know an internship before you graduate because that can really help you start working you may, you may get hired on permanently um that can help you build your resume your experience because mm -hmm. most of the time they look at experience nowadays right so right. um experience is very important so get in get that um internship if you can, uh, if you have mentors, reach out to them for help. They can help prepare you for your interview. Mm -hmm. But go in feeling very confident. Do not go in, you know, nervous. Because if you show them that you're nervous, they're going to be like, okay, you know. So just kind of go in, relax. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you polish up well. And making sure you make eye contact with them. Make sure mm -hmm. you're, um, when, you, when they're asking you questions, make sure you're looking at them. Uh, like I said, don't move your hands so much. Leave them under the table if, you, if you're that type of person. Like I said, no phones, no purses, no no nothing. Mm -hmm. All you need is your portfolio, and that's it, and a pen. Take okay. notes. Take plenty of notes while you're interviewing. They, they don't mind that. Take notes. You know, Remember their names. Um, remember the stuff they you talk about. Make sure you do your research on the company. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know the job you're applying for. Um, all those things are very important. So just make sure, like I said, polish up really well. I cannot stress that enough. Polish up, okay. you know, because they're going to be observing you from the time you step foot in the door. So that's very important. Women and men, both, they're going right. to they're gonna be looking at us, you know, from head to toe. So. Okay. okay. Well, thank you for this valuable information. It's going to be well for all our STEM college students who are trying to get an internship and move on to their professional career. Hey, y'all please hit us up on the YouTube channel because like I said, we need 150,000. Why? Because there'll be 150,000 of us who understands the true value of STEM education in our community. Thank you.